for those of you that have been longboarding and skateboarding for a while, then this video is probably just gonna be common sense. So there's a little disclaimer there. If you do end up deciding to watch the whole thing, I really appreciate it. But this is more so gonna be geared towards beginners. Let's get into the first one, which is using a machinery belt cleaner. Now, I don't know the technicals about this thing, but what I do know is that it's called the Pro Stick and I bought it for $3.99 from Amazon. It's perfect for cleaning dirt off of grip tape, as you can see here. A quick little tip is to hold it at the top because if you don't, you run the risk of scraping your knuckles on the grip tape. We were filming for this video, it, it happened. So <laughs> I don't really know what to say. It's just be careful of that. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you use this over time, it does wear down your grip tape grippiness. I haven't noticed it too much, um, mainly because I'm just cruising most of the time. But yeah, just, just keep that in mind. Now, since we're on the topic of grip tape, the next little tip is that if you install a fresh sheet of grip tape, it's pretty much inevitable that you're gonna have some sort of bubbles appear. And the best thing that you can do is to take a razor blade and poke a little hole in it, push down with your fingers, and then the bubble is gone. Let's move on to the next tip, which is if you're trying to swap out your bearings, instead of using or having to have some sort of specific tool for that, just use your truck axle. What I do is take the wheel and line up the truck axle just past the bearing. And then all you really do is pry the wheel to the side and then the bearing will pop out. Some are gonna be a little harder than others, but for most instances, this is really all you need. Then if you wanna put your bearings back in the wheels, all you have to do is put the bearing on the truck axle, take the wheel, and then push down. With a little pressure, the bearing is going to fit right in. Again, some are harder than others, so each situation is gonna be different, but this should, should be helpful, hopefully. Now say that you're gonna be swapping out your wheels and putting them on a different setup, and you have extra speed rings and spacers, what I like to do is still use the truck axle. This is very straightforward, but just put your bearings, your spacers, your speed rings all onto the truck axle and then screw the nut on top. So that way you're not gonna lose them. And since we're on the topic of bearings, my next little tip would be to get a cleaner kit. Now you can build your own, you don't have to buy any, um, but what I recently just did is got this Bones cleaner bottle where it has separate little spacers in between. You space out all the bearings onto it, tighten this up, put a cleaner in here, tighten the cap on and you shake, rinse and repeat. And then the other thing that was included was Bone Speed Cream, which is the lube you put on after cleaning your bearings. So over time, it's definitely, it's gonna save me a lot of money. The next little tip applies to longboarding, which is swapping out your bushings and just experimenting. What I did recently was actually put softer bushings in my front truck and harder bushings in the back. And that setup gave me just a more carvy, responsive feel, something that I prefer. It really just comes down to personal personal preference, uh, what type of riding you're gonna be doing. And the final little hack or tip that I have for you guys is it's inevitable for your setup to start squeaking. I can't tell you how many messages I've gotten over the past few months of people saying, bro, like I think my board is broken. It's squeaking, like I don't know what to do. Should I send it back? It's in most cases, it's just your bushing rubbing up against your truck could be your pivoting cup. Really all you have to do here is take your truck apart, take some sort of wax that you have laying around the house. I've heard of people using crayons, candles. You can use soap, although it's not gonna be as effective as just normal wax, but you really wanna put it in your, your pivoting cup, bushings, any place possible that you think could be making the squeaking and that should fix that. Your board is not broken and it always, this, this happens to everyone. Everyone gets squeaking. Um, so hopefully this last little tip or all these tips combined helped you guys, these hacks, I don't know. Uh, if it did, drop a like, I'd really appreciate it. It helps our videos reach more people and it's free. So I'll see you guys in another one later.